Ladies and gentlemen, remember this. A new APD is coming soon to a neighborhood near you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please be seated. <laughs> well, now I'm going to hope you reserve that same thing for the, my next uh, order of business. This will actually be probably my first official order of business. Um, I'm going to get some notes. Um, and if I could ask uh, Officer Lou Golson and your family if you want to come up to the stage. <clears throat> I'll let Lou introduce his family. As you can see, it's an extended law enforcement family indeed. I'm going to read something shortly before we award uh, Lou's medals. But uh, it's a narrative of what happened back on the night of January 3rd, 2015. Lou was working DWI unit at the time, and it was during the early morning hours, and it was a cold night. Officer Golson observed a speeding SUV that had suddenly stopped at a red light. As he walked up to the driver's side window, he noticed the driver was trying to restart the vehicle. Officer Golson told the driver to turn off the vehicle and proceeded to open the driver's door. The driver then spun sideways in his seat with a gun in his hand and fired at Officer Golson five times. Four of the bullet bullets hit Officer Golson, knocking him hard to the ground. Concerned that the driver was going to going to be able to restart the vehicle and possibly run him over, Officer Golson returned fire eight times in which all the shots hit the side of the SUV. As Officer Golson tried to reload his weapon, he noticed that his left hand was severely broken. Then he attempted to utilize his other hand. However, his firearm was no longer operable. With the gun still trained on the driver, he watched the driver get out of the vehicle and run away. Immediately, but remaining calm, he radioed dispatch for assistance. And if you ever heard that tape, it's amazing that somebody under those conditions could be as calm as if he was asking for a lunch break. His fellow officers arrived on scene a few minutes later. Officer Golson was rushed to the hospital, and nearly three weeks and two surgeries later, he began the grueling recovery process at home. One of the bullets traveled across his abdomen and then breaking the femur bone in his right leg. The other three rounds were stopped by his bulletproof vest. And I believe you broke your wrist when you, when you fell as well. I did. Despite being shot, the one thing that Officer Golson wanted to, to do was get back on his feet and back in uniform as an Albuquerque police officer. Unfortunately, this was not to be. The serious injuries that he sustained and the prolonged treatment of those injuries have forced this brave and committed officer to forgo his second career as an officer for this department. Those sacrifices have not gone un unnoticed or unappreciative by his coworkers this administration, or the community. Every day our officers put on a uniform and head out in this community, never knowing what they will face or whether they will see their families again. They do it not because it's a job. They do it because it is a calling, a calling to serve others and place their lives on the line for their safety. That is why we honor those sacrifices and pay homage to those who give their life and to those who are, for, who are forever changed by injuries in the line of duty. In no way can we ever pay the gift of service to our to community, but we should always honor their efforts by bearing witness to their bravery and sharing our gratitude for their services. Today, three years later, 
I'm extremely honored to have the privilege to present Officer Lou Golson with the prestigious Medal of Valor and the Purple Heart for his undaunted courage, intrepid fighting spirit, and unwavering devotion to duty in the face of near certain death. Thank you, Lou. Thank you. Told Eric, make sure you don't stick him with a pen. He's got enough problems. days ago when I was asked to appear here in a uniform, which I did manage to scrape together. Uh, but like Chief Geyer said earlier, I, I couldn't have done half the things I've done had it not been to support my wife, April. As you can see, yes, I do have an extended law enforcement family. Uh, my daughter, Elisa, son, Adam, and son Scott. Uh, made me very proud that they chose to follow my footsteps. And then uh, I am missing a few. I also have my son Christian and my grandson Jaden, my daughter Amber and granddaughter Ava are in the back. Ava's only two months old, so she's not coming up. Uh, again, this, this is a great honor. I never in my wildest dreams would have thought of receiving such honors, and it does appear our, uh, the new administration have, has your back. So everyone who wears this uniform can hold their head up high and know that the administration is going to cover you. Thank you. <laughs> 